him very much because he fights over the Philippines. It's the second fight outside the Philippines. He comes into the tombs of Rocky, merciless Manny Pacquiao. His 12th title fight, first defense. He's won his last seven by stoppage, so he does not mess around. He is a national hero, to say the least, in the Philippines. Everybody in the Philippines, if they can get themselves to a television tonight, will be watching Manny Pacquiao, I can assure you. He's a national hero. He returned to a, a Manila after winning the IBF world title in June, and they tell me he was greeted by thousands of his cheering countrymen. He and his wife, Jinky, rode through the city in a ticker tape parade, waved at fans from a Ford F-150 pickup truck with a banner that said, Return of the Champion. How big is he? Among the celebrants in attendance in the Philippines was President Gloria Arrojo, who personally greeted Manny. Here is Michael Butler. The Grand Civic Auditorium, San Francisco, California, where it is officially declared by his honor the mayor, Willie L. Brown, Jr., World Championship Boxing Day in the city by the bay. Tonight, Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated and Peter Howe's Entertainment present World Championship Boxing on HBO, brought to you in association with your undisputed king of beer, Budweiser, and sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission Chairman Manuel Cal Soto. The promoter for our first title bout is Murad Mohammed Eminem Sparks. The three judges assigned to ringside scoring this bout on the 10-point must system will be Ricardo Baez, Raul Caiz Sr., and Marshall Walker. And when the bell rings, working for the 154th time in a world title bout, World Boxing Hall of Famer Marty Denkin. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a battle of champions, 12 rounds of boxing for the unified IBF and WBO Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing purple trimmed with gold and weighing in at 120 and one half pounds. His professional record, 33 victories, including 20 knockouts with seven losses and a draw. From Brooklyn, New York, by way of La Victoria Republica de Dominica, here is the WBO Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Agapito El Ciclo Sanchez. And the thunder across the ring, hanging out of the red corner, wearing red, blue, and yellow, and also wearing Harvey Wayne in at 120 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, 33 victories, including 24 knockouts with only two losses. From General Santos City, Philippines, presenting the IBF Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Manny, the Destroyer Pacquiao. Final instructions coming up from referee Marty Dinkin, a veteran of many championship bouts. He's trying to get Pacquiao over to the center of the ring right now. Probably your first look. Here we go. I told you, Manny, what your responsibility is. I told you what my job and responsibility was. Let's all do our job. Good luck. They're set to go. Marty Dinkin giving final instructions. Probably your first look at the world champion Manny Pacquiao. He's physically strong, good speed, tremendous punching power in both hands. Fought mostly in the Philippines, but they've been working on his defense. He'll get quite a work tonight. We're anticipating from Agapito Sanchez, who makes his home now in Brooklyn, New York. Here we go, round one, scheduled for 12. For the World IBF WBO Junior Featherweight Championship. 
IBF belongs to Pacquiao. Southpaw, as you can see. And the WBO title belongs to Sanchez. There's the record. A lot of knockouts for Pacquiao. As he goes right to work as he's known to do. He keeps coming down. Left hand of the body. And Sanchez just backs out of there. Good left. Sanchez comes right back with a right left combination. Pacquiao's frustrated with himself, saying, bring it on. This is going to be a lot of punches thrown at this fight. You see that left-handed style of the young man from the Philippines, who is a huge natural hero down there. When he won the title, they gave him one million Philippine pesos, which works out to 20,000 American dollars. But the government gave him that for his championship and appreciation of him being the world title holder. A quick flicking jab that landed from Sanchez. That guy's coming straight in, looking to load up. Sanchez very busy, up on his toes, working in and out. Halfway through round one, we're scheduled for 12. Sanchez in the blue trunks with the gold trim. Pacquiao in the multicolored trunks, white, red, white, and blue and gold. You see less movement from Pacquiao than you do from Sanchez. Good hard left hand straight into the body. He landed a body shot early in this round with his best punch. There's Sanchez trying to unload. Working behind conversations, and Pacquiao is looking a little bit confused as he's taking on the speed of Sanchez. Good exchange inside, not a lot of damage done. There's a left hand from Pacquiao. He likes to throw a lunging straight left when he can. He'll come straight at you, no doubt about it. Crowd reacting with every punch. But not much damage so far. We're inside a half a minute of round one. But there's been a lot of action here. Scheduled for 12 for the Junior Featherweight Championship of the World. Inside works Sanchez. Backing Pacquiao out of there. Down the stairs, a little bit low with that punch. Right on the belt line. Final seconds, round one. These two have come to work tonight. That's right at the end, both punches. Look at the, look at the face of Manny Merciless back out. He means business. We'll listen inside the corners a little bit as we roll up the replays for you. Freddie Rhodes working the and corner Manny, for Manny Pacquiao. You gotta use the jab a little bit more. Okay, you got one jab, I want a double jab. Step in and get a little bit closer. Okay? Oh, not gonna get that little jab, that little jab. Don't let him lead to you, okay, sir? All right? Double jab, okay? I just want Freddie Rhodes wants his fighter to do. He's good. Oh, boy. Get a little closer with his jab. Let's take a look at this shot by Pacquiao. Nice body work right there, coming straight in, which is what he's been known to do, and we're going to round two, and he's running across the ring. He can't wait. <laughs> Merciless Manny wants to hop on Sanchez real quick. He won the title to Merciless in Las Vegas, beat Honolo Loaba for the IBF title in the sixth round. So he likes to take his opponents out. He's not in there to dance around, that's for sure. Pacquiao's in the red and blue trunks, purple and gold, Sanchez. Stop! Stop! The stop! Looks stop. like the heads just stop. came together. We've got a headbutt. Marty Dinkins going to look at it. Go to your corner. You know, they go to the scorecard back the fourth round. They're going to have to take a look at this. What an unfortunate occurrence. You see the blood spewing out because we were looking forward to a lot of action in this fight, and he has got an open cut. How unfortunate. Uh, he's looking at it. Looks like they're going to continue, but there's going to be a lot of work in that corner for Manny Pacquiao. If we continue round two, schedule 12, unfortunate clash of heads that may have changed the strategy quite a bit for Pacquiao now because this is going to be a war of attrition with a cut opening up.